<laughs> hey guys, uh, welcome back, welcome back, yo. Bridgerton. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> to, uh, oh baby, where are we? <laughs> Jack and Nina. She's so excited. You even forgot how to. Where are we? Uh, 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 we're watching Bridgerton, as you can tell from the title. Yes. Um, of co- I, obviously, I have been watching Bridgerton. You know, I've never read the books, unfortunately. That's and, very surprising um, of you, though. I know, yeah. I think, the, I don't know, I just never read the books. Normally, I would go back and read the books, but I just enjoy the series anyways. Um, and normally, after I watch the series, I don't mm. want to read the book anymore because I'm enjoying the series. Yeah, so I, I feel that. like I'm going to, yeah. you know, yeah, anyways. Um, I've seen the first, I've seen all, all, this, all the seasons, actually. The only I'm person sure. I've not seen it, guys, is Moi. It's me. I've not seen... Nah, we started episode um, season one together. Together, but he wasn't for him. It, oh, was like, it wasn't for me. It's, it's, no, I don't. I just, I just don't feel it. I'm like no, but I do love this kind of story. Don't get me mm-hmm. wrong. I think during the moment, I think we we're moving houses, or yeah, we I was were. just made of so many there things a lot at of the time. Happening. It was my yeah. time to just chill. And watch yeah, it was her time to chill. Um, because we just gave birth those moments, yeah. those times, and. I was focusing more on moving houses, so yeah. you chill yeah. at your mom's house yeah. while I'm slaving myself out of the way. Being a man, huh? <laughs> and yeah. um, the, my least favorite um, series mm. of the British News, which uh, Queen Charlotte that came, okay. you know, the last season. Mm. I didn't particularly enjoy it. I don't know the last season, so don't tell me you know. They know. All right. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, I'm really looking forward for this season <laughs> because it's Penelope's story. In the Philippines, she used to be a small character, but then okay. like she's like grown, and now mm. she's like she's gonna be like the main focus. Her with her her lover, Colin. Um, yeah. All right. So we have adults, two the two of adults downstairs. So if you hear in and out, you already yeah. know what it is. Where parents, you know, filming this is kind of tough. Yeah, we're doing it during the day, which means <laughs> the kids are awake. So. Awake. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, we do when the kids are asleep. Yeah. So, so in the meantime, guys. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do show some super buy. Subscribing. And also mm-hmm. press the notification button you, so you don't have to miss a goddamn thing. Anyway, guys, by all means necessary, let's enjoy ourselves. Let's get in on this. Yeah. Maybe your headphone? Oh. I, I was about to just. You always, watch, you like, always forget your headphone. You know? I just feel like, <laughs> listen, when I'm watching this, I feel like I'm just watching stuff at home. You got your glasses? Oh, my hair. Dearest gentle reader, she's back. We have been apart for far too long. At last, London. It's now everyone looking for you. Look forward to reading. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the Gossip Magazine. It's good to be home. It certainly is. As the she's the writer. Begins, yeah, no, I know. I realized on the um, last, like the one we watched together. Yeah. Yeah. Newly minted debutante will shine the brightest. But why she sounds so old? Uh, it's just a voice to the narrative. Yeah, okay. This is the exquisite. Okay. Dowell is thought to be a most accomplished young lady. Okay. There's a confidence about her in this time. Yeah. Miss Kenworthy is a welcome entry, brimming with confidence and charisma, who certainly stands out in a crowd. <sighs> she wrote oh. my name. <laughs> <laughs> so your business is thriving, as is yours. <laughs> so they know too. <laughs> And they know who, they know each other's secrets. Forget, okay. Should we all need a little excitement? There is Bridgerton making her Bridgerton. Yay, Francesca. I cannot hear anything. Probably because she knows we are out here eavesdropping. I'm sure that she is well enough. It was... Perhaps she's been mm. stunned into silence by the beauty mm. of that giant feather. We're not ready to go? Ah, Is there anything back. we can do to help? Would you mind asking whoever is playing downstairs to... Is that not in fact? Oh. It's her playing. <laughs> <laughs> Francesca? She nervous. Yeah, they changed character actors. Francesca, there's no need to shout. I must say, all those oh. lessons in Bath have reaped their reward. I've been outside your door all morning. I woke up early, got dressed, took breakfast in the garden, because it is just another day. Is it? <laughs> I don't think it's just another day. Perhaps we do not need to worry so much. You do realise what tune she was playing just now, don't you? Mozart's funeral march. Uh, <laughs> 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 it's her death. She means business. <laughs> Which gentleman will reveal himself as the prize of the season? For our young ladies will certainly need someone dashing at whom to check their caps. She does watch his people, innit? Yeah, that's what she does, innit? She has Mary to watch she can write about it. Some titillation. 
But guess me, she never had a notebook, notepad, or whatever to write. She memorizes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh God, Colin. Okay, <laughs> looking good, <laughs> student. <laughs> Perhaps it's grown. <laughs> it's grown into a man. Colin. It's back. And she's Colin. in love with him. Apologies for my late arrival. I got stuck in presentation traffic. Do you not wish to greet me? <laughs> <laughs> but why is she not there? Because she fell out with Colin's sister, her best okay. friend. Okay, okay. For of the status quo, this author quickly grows weary. This is his yes. season. All oh, right, Miss Ratter. We'd heard all about you by the time we broke up. <laughs> Indeed, foreign son. Did you apparently get so sturdy? <laughs> <laughs> I must know. Who are you? What have you done with our brother? This time away was exactly what. So I'm assuming he's changed. Massive personality as well. Yeah. Looks. Is like some it's more dashing now. Mm. Anne Hartigan. <sighs> Hartigan. By her mother. The Right Honourable Lady Hartigan. <laughs> <laughs> the Queen is never happy. <laughs> oh, look at her face. Oh. 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 All right, ma'am. It's your refreshment, your majesty. <laughs> Perhaps a casket. No. <laughs> of interest here today shall usher me to an early... Okay. Wow. Any moment. I'm telling you one who simply glides in. <laughs> Since this season, <laughs> Since it changed. <laughs> Presented by her mother, the Right Honourable Lady Green. I wish they kept this. I wish they continued this society. tradition. Yeah, I love it. Really? It's always intrigued me ever since I was young. No, I simply could use some peace. Well, I'm afraid if peace is what you are after, then this may all be rather overwhelming. If I can be at ease in the chaos of our home, surely I shall find my way in the season. Wow. She's, she's, got, she's got a point. Presented by her mother, the Right Honourable Dowager, Lady Bridgerton. Breathe. What? The Queen loves that. Look, look. Yeah, there you go. Compose. That's more like it. To regard your majesty, you have had good luck with Bridgertons. <laughs> <laughs> we have good luck with Bridgerton. They got a bunch of good looking girls and boys. Oh wow. She doesn't want to give away her sentiments. Why does she insist on it happening every, every season, season. <laughs> when she reacts? I think like it's this? one of those ones that she, she can't get rid of it. Yeah. It's, it's one of a row. Come on, Colin. Colin's on fire. He's man. on fire this season. Our <laughs> wedding was much more beautiful than yours. Oh. I thought our wedding was rather fine. Yes. I would have not keep this if this was a tradition, but because people compare each other's weddings. So? And spend all of our dear departed Aunt Petunia's money in the process, Mr. Dankwood. Wow. Thank goodness Aunt Petunia died. She's oh. a tiresome spinster who always had her nose in a book. She was not tiresome. She just did not care for either of you. Today we return to society in good standing, our finances in order, and without any man telling yeah, us what to do. They were in bad state. If I may speak my mind, ma'am. <laughs> you got <laughs> The young Petunia, no offence to the dead. Will anyone really believe that a spinster who never owned so much as a donkey cart would have a fortune to leave wow. to you? For all they know, she could have been hiding jars of coin under her floor. It's a way of rearing its Gossiping. ugly head. <laughs> you here to me. You've got a right to that. Yeah, hey, is it? finally done with daydreaming? I am. She's very, she's not happy at all. No. The first season, she was more... She's more cheery. cheery yeah. no, no, no. I guess she's, what, getting, she's getting older. She's more serious, more composed. That's what I said. That's what growing up does, do. <laughs> but not to appear at an event arranged in her honour is another thing to get. Did all the school. girls this morning leave that much to be desired? Yeah. Do you find yourself back in town for any particular reason? In search of something? Or wow. Someone? Oh. <laughs> Came back to take a wife this season. I'm afraid the answer may disappoint. Ooh. There is one thing I learned on my travels: ever to expect the unexpected. Yep. Mm -hmm. Give them hope. <laughs> Let them leash. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't want to be there at all. She wants Colin, and he's surrounded by girls, besties, ex besties. If it isn't Penelope oh, Featherington, back in a dress, the colour. Presidente. Eloise, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh. Go and get some lemonade. Your friend is a good idea. President now. I'm parched oh. with thirst. She kind of saved her though because she knew yeah. that was going to be really mean to her. He should be handsome, romantic, 
intelligent. Do not forget well bred. I have always pictured a man who writes poetry, but above all else, it should be someone who gives me butterflies looking at him. <laughs> I give butterflies, babe. I remember, don't let me tell the story. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you do not so want do someone not deny unkind. my claim. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you said? Do not deny my claim. Of course not. One week returned from honeymoon and already my son has left you to fend for yourself. <laughs> Our time away means Anthony's stack of paperwork has grown nearly to the ceiling. Two sisters out in society this season. The work has only just begun. Understand this new friendship? <laughs> I spent enough time last season trying to assist her until my assistance nearly drove her outside society, so... <laughs> Back in India, mothers stay in the home long beyond their children's wedding. I'm grateful to have you close. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. The Bridgerton. Yeah. Which one? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Much, although the she was come on as noted after her instincts went astray last season. Uh, but of course, it all worked out in the end. I think she's pregnant. <laughs> Would not worry. My travels. Colin, man. Damn, Colin. If I did, you would swoon. <laughs> well, please do tell. tell. <laughs> They're already swooning. <laughs> season are not yet full of suitors. <laughs> He's flattering all of them. Oh my god. There's no hope for other men's then. Such tender young ladies. Oh boy. Were I to tell you even the tiniest adventure, well, I would be forced to marry you. Wow. Come on, boy. Player. It's literally... Such an array of beautiful oh. ladies. <laughs> Men will be fighting over you. Uh, He's loving this. He's doing it on purpose. He wants to get Penelope's attention. Oh. <laughs> does it, it does, doesn't it discriminate. He's doing it all. Everyone can get this. <laughs> Let us hope that whoever lays claim to be the next Lord Featherington has more scruples. Common thievery run in the family. Oh. Wow. In fact, there shall be no more laying claim. As the last Lord Featherington wrote a document bequeathing the estate to my girls. Did he? Oh. This so one's dumb. Some, like, shut up this. and just listen to him. <laughs> they remind me of Cinderella's <laughs> ugly stepsisters. <laughs> Truly, it has felt like I've been absent years instead of months. Much has certainly changed in that time. You look distinguished, but then again, you always have. Well, when all is said and done, it's merely clothing. Things seem to have fundamentally changed. Am I mistaken? Or was Eloise walking arm in arm with Cressida Count? As you said, sometimes time moves rather quickly. Mm -hmm. Now, your turn to follow. Why didn't you tell us sooner that one of us would be the new Lady Featherington? Can you sh shut up? This is the wrong time for this. Technically, one of our sons will be the new Lord Featherington. You are part of this race. Uh -oh. Husband. But technically, first necessity be ridding the house of a dusty book. Neither of you will be inheriting anything if you do not go home and get to work. Well, can we not come first? <laughs> I take comfort in knowing that you will always be here to take care of me. Oh. That's not what she wants. Oh, she's stuck. She yeah. <laughs> she feels stuck. <laughs> Time to write. Time to write, man. Mm -hmm. uh. I do not wish to see a citrus colour ever again. <gasps> oh. Sour colours, indeed. Mm. I cannot live at home any longer. It's been hard enough living under my mother's rules, but mm. my sister's. To live at the whim of either the most cruel or the most simple person I know, I must take a husband before that happens. Uh. Oh. You ready? And does my lady have a certain suitor certain. in mind? Suitor. I should like to be sensible. I don't like Someone it. kind. It allows for my privacy for obvious reasons. Oh, I can't wait to see how she changes. Something like what they're wearing in Paris. Okay. Oh, okay. Collins. <laughs> Here we come. She's got eyes on him. Oh, I love it, brother. Where's it from? Paris. Where are my handsome new playing cards from? Is this writing Spanish? You visited. She's still playing. Francesca, Mother's here. Sister. Eloise, oh. time for the modis. Will this family ever be on time? A gift to you, Mother. <laughs> Where's she surprised? This is lovely, truly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, we really are late. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she needed. <laughs> Surely you are not eager to hasten to the modis? <laughs> I have something for you. Ah, oh, the right I'm in the middle of reading something. It is called Emma. Wow. The novel? Oh. You've never been one for silly romances. The writings I read before of women making their way outside society, those were the romances. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's humour and truth. The pains of friendship, mm -hmm. it's altogether more probable. <laughs> and I take it your taste in friendship has changed as well. Oh, yeah. Cressida surprised me this summer. She showed me kindness in the country when no one else would. And what of Penelope? Really? We've simply grown apart. Mm. Lady Vassadar nearly ruined me last season. I lost the battle and I have no appetite for the war, so I've joined the winning side. Not unlike you. 
I take it. A man cannot tell his secrets. Ooh, must be lonely. <laughs> wow. You okay? Yeah. So I get comfortable. Thank you. I just sit back with I wasn't stopping it. <laughs> <laughs> just get out. <laughs> She's proper a stood there as well. Uh, like, are we leaving or? Oh, we stay. <laughs> I've been hoping we would meet when you were hiding away in the countryside this summer. I avoided society because I did not know if you'd want to see me. And perhaps because you were worried I might reveal your secret. I do appreciate you keeping it. Because I discovered it was you who wrote such damning things. You may not understand what I did, but I was only trying to protect- Oh, I do not need your explanation secret exactly because I do not wish to keep revisiting the past. That's it? Now you have your life and I have mine. It's Cressida. Are you really friends with her? I wish she very well, Penelope. I am not one to complain about a mid-afternoon tipple. And what's the occasion? <laughs> In truth, I enjoyed having a purpose. Whereas now that you're back, I'm certain what I'm supposed to do. I'm quite certain Mother has a list of young ladies she could offer you. Brother, please take some of his attention. To congratulate on your many new admirers. I'm not certain that that should cheer me. Pardon me, um, wife business comes first. <laughs> <laughs> yep, where's <Wes> man? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I shall be quick. And now that I have you both, are you aware, Mrs. Smoldrich, of your great aunt, Lady Kent? No. Kent, yes. We met once in my youth. Very cold lady. She is colder now, I am. Oh, she did. She did. Oh, she left us something? She has not left you something. She has left your son, Nicholas, everything. Oh. And while you have several cousins who are more closely related to her, male children, as such, shall be the next Baron of Kent. Ooh. Monrich so, is the rich now. <laughs> Look at it, look at the husband. We might need drinks. <laughs> we never need drinks. I think I remember this dog. You remember the dog? Yeah, I remember the dog, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ouch. Oh, I don't know. Bon appetit. <laughs> Ignore the dog. I cannot. What's happening out there? It's important. What's happening down there? <laughs> Touche. <laughs> you do know that what we are doing is oh. not. We have to start somewhere. This is my first week as Viscountess in my new home. Brave. How the heck can she just get up like that? Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I can't believe it, hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> I should like to try something a little different tonight. Ooh, the hair style too. So gonna straighten out her curls. I love that that they are giving us so little. Yeah. That when they reveal it, I'm yeah. <laughs> They'll be like, oh, well, Penelope. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. Oh, she's going dark. Babe, that's dark. That's not French. She's gonna make a lit entrance. I yeah. love that. Walking late. That's how for you, dude. Oh, I, <laughs> so, <laughs> I sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sister I and wife. Know. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Brother's life. <laughs> I do not. Oh. You failed to collect your cloak. Yes, of course. Oh, I took off the cloak. Take it off. Oh, no, the okay, green, you know? I do not think that will be necessary. She have plenty to write about. Oh, okay, girl. Reflect on this. Jealousy, my love. Ooh, and now mine. Nah, bro. <laughs> It's not us they stare at. <laughs> Your sister. It's my fortune before I can claim it. Ah. That is her intention. If he wants to wear such a melancholy colour, that's her prerogative. I bet mum's happy. That makes her mysterious and brings in attention. <laughs> I told the contest that in my home, we did not. Even calling him like, okay. okay. Now, nah, who's gonna wanna dance with her? Miss Featherington. Yep. Pleasure to see you. What a striking gown you have on. You, you as well, my lord. Uh, <laughs> he does not have, have a gown, gown on. But obviously, they're the first part. <laughs> Proper evening dress, which is not at all gown-like. Awkward. She's messing up. She man. does not know how to talk to men. Don't open your mouth. Just look good. <laughs> Genuinely enjoy embroidery. Of course I do. There is simply so much one can do with it. For example, tried and true. The straight stitch, running stitch, chain stitch, perhaps too much. My mama has always told me to put my oh, books wow. down. Oh, wow. Uh, not that there is anything wrong with reading, of course. Wait, what? I'm not familiar with that. Word. It is the one that shifts this conversation, perhaps oh. something besides embroidery. <laughs> uh, forgive me, uh, uh, please. You were saying, Lord Barnell. I was going to say, perhaps we should take our leave Long and give Lady Whistledown something to write about. Ah. Uh. 
And that one? That, Your Majesty, is Miss Penelope Featherington, her third season out. But there are several impressive new contenders for Your Majesty's favor, should you care nah. to grace. And why should I grace them with anything? Anxiety amongst the mamas that you have not mama. yet selected a diamond. Precious, precisely because it is rare. I throw one diamond ball and anxious mamas expect a diamond every year. <laughs> I threw a zebra ball once. Do they expect a new zebra? <laughs> <laughs> you are right. You have only named the diamond once. It was Zola. Lady Whistledown no, no, who named the diamond the first year. It was about the Duchess. I play the pianoforte. That is magnificent. Oh, well, I think what Lord Fife means to say is, who are you besides your hobbies? Yes. What do you desire? What do you despise? Oh, wow. What makes you tick? I think my brother needs me, if you would excuse me. <laughs> Does he? I should like a moment alone. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Just service, ma'am. <laughs> what makes us tick, Nina? <laughs> Dear, is Francesca quite well? She simply needed a moment, as do I. And I should like to use that moment to dance with my beautiful wife. But the door, because she's is escorting the little sister. Yeah. yeah. He really ought to take the floor again. Sit, Mama. Sit, or time. Sit down. At least the wall is not asking what makes me tip. Did you not enjoy conversing with those gentlemen? I did not expect to be inspected as if I were some rare insect writhing under a microscope. Perhaps that does make you rare. It seems as though every Bridgerton was born to attract notice. <laughs> Different from my siblings as well. It can be difficult, can it not? And you are lucky to have so much notice. Even if it is trying. <laughs> That's true. The notice is very slight. Miss Francesca. Our dance. You really ought to take to the floor again. It's difficult to come off the wall once you are on it. Are you well, exactly. Mrs. Featherington? Uh, yes, forgive me. Cold headache. Do not worry. I to cry I've been here. the recipient of an untold number of withering looks. Hers was mediocre at best. And why do I have the feeling that you, in turn, know how to make one wither, if you so choose? I, I, I suppose. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> no. Nah, no. no, no. Um, uh, excuse me, I am it. Oh, oh, no! Oh. She did it on purpose. Oh. Accidents will happen. Miss Featherington, I shall find a maid to help you. It would be most appreciated. Miss Cowper. It is a pity you did not choose something sturdier. Oh. Perhaps if you had not bought such cheap fabric, it would not have ripped. Is that your friend you want to be with, really, Eloise? And I'm, I'm so sorry. There were perhaps oh. some late nights. Pen, she did not look well, did she? The Featherington girl. Why concern yourself with her? I want to know what happened on these late nights. Whatever Oh happened. gosh. Boys can be. Mm. Season. Uh, do excuse me, just a moment. Stupid conversations or. Literally. What are you doing out here? I'm just getting some fresh air. Yeah, right. But I get it. Especially in such a charming dress. Do not mock me, please. Mock you? Quite serious. The colour rather suits you. <laughs> Good night, Mr. Brin. Do you not need a chaperone? Spinsters do not need chaperones. <laughs> you are not a spinster. A marriage mark with no prospects to show for it. What would you call that? Pen. Between us, I mean. I wrote to you this summer. Why? Well, you did not respond. Admittedly, very few did, but I miss you. <laughs> you miss me. You miss me, but you would never caught me, is that correct? Pen, I... I overheard you at my mama's ball last season. Oh, wow. Telling everyone how you would never, ever caught Penelope Featherington. Eesh. Perhaps we should talk about this somewhere more private. Because I embarrass you. Oh, yeah. Of course you would never caught me. I am the laughing stock of the town, even when I changed my entire wardrobe. It just never occurred to me that you of all people could be so cruel. Ay, 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 ay. What, he oh, said, yeah. said it? Yeah. In her mom's party as well. Oh. Yeah, because the other guys were making fun of her, and then he just went along with it, saying, "Yeah, I'll oh. never throw her hair." Yeah, those moments always get you back, even though you don't mean it. Yeah. Don't write anything negative about the Bridgerton girl, please. Ello is trying to make friends with you again. A gentleman here to see you, ma'am. Lady Featherington, I am pleased to make your acquaintance, Walter Dundas, Esquire. I work for the Crown, responsible for ensuring succession runs smoothly within our great families. <laughs> it's so smooth, it's so, you know. <laughs> I have been made aware that your cousin Jack Featherington recent with your entire fortune. Yes, sir. That man was a terrible no. liar. 
I have in my possession a document he signed. Grant one of your daughters once she produces a male heir. That document is valid. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> it's a rather unusual news. situation. Are any of your daughters with child? Oh, I do hope to receive the news any day now. Apparently, yeah, well, Grant is unaware of another living male heir. It's transferring the estate to another family. A great deal of upheaval for the Featherington tenants and society. And, huh, frankly, me. Before oh. one of your girls has an heir, the upheaval may indeed be necessary. Oh, wow. It is a good thing the document is not forged and that my girls do so love their husbands. <laughs> I shall pay another visit to you very soon. Such a beautiful home. Oh, not have much competition this season. Why is she still Aside moving? from Francesca, who stirred a good deal of interest, I suppose. I believe the message was received by all with that particular Shut trick. up. You disapprove? You're I thought you did not like her. Penelope. What you did we? was cruel and unnecessary. How difficult it has been for you to find a husband. Why do you think that is? Do you not think it might be easier <laughs> if you displayed a bit less Frankness. <laughs> it has been difficult to find a husband. It has been more difficult still to find a friend. I have not had many since my debut. No, no. Oh, because of your character. No, isn't it? <laughs> but the season has a way of coming between young ladies. They get married. Pitting us against one another. I suppose I've fallen prey to it once or thrice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Society does not seek to forge affections amongst us. I, I thought I was the only one who noticed. I did try to befriend you in your first season out. And <laughs> you do not blame you. I have not always been kind. She is undeserving of my attention. And of yours. Uh -huh. Let us think only of ourselves. We are far more interesting. <laughs> sure. She's probably the show as well. We've got a sound on. Should we return to it? Mm. <sighs> mm. There is a matter I must discuss with you first. Mm, woman, when you every time they say that man, she's like, see? <laughs> <laughs> I know, she's doing everything she can to delay her move. Well, uh, I will speak with her today. What if you did not? Your mother enjoys being Viscountess. While I have already spent years taking care of Edwina and running the Sharma household, and the duty of running this place. For now, the only duty that interests me is making an out. Oh, I do not want to speak. Close eyes. Okay, babe's gone. Tell me, how was last night? Mm -hmm. It was satisfactory. <laughs> satisfactory. <laughs> That's about it. She about to sleep anyway. Yeah. When you play with another Don't person, there is a certain <laughs> vulnerability which can be quite frightening. But it is worth it <laughs> once you find that person with whom you. I'm not frightened of the balls, Mama. Or finding a match. What you and Father and Daphne and Anthony will have is oh, enviable. Yeah, good to go. But mm. it is also rare. Butterflies of. But you will at least be open if love comes your way. Let us see what happens. Mom, the Viscountess is looking for you. You've a visitor, miss. I'm sorry. <laughs> look, at, look at him, mate. <laughs> <laughs> go away, man. You'll leave. <laughs> you know, man. And I'm very sorry for my colourless comment here last year. It pains me to see you upset. Then perhaps you should not have come. And I'm most certainly not ashamed of you, Pen. The, the opposite is true, in fact. I seek you out, Assembly, okay. because I know you will lift my spirits okay. and make me see the world in ways I could not have imagined. I am proud to call you my very good friend. Watching you walk back into society with such ease. Every year, I pray I might finally feel that way amidst, and that comfort never materialises. If a husband is what you seek, then let me help you. Help me how? I was in 17 cities this summer. It's the charm can be taught. That's true. But have you and you will quickly master them, I'm certain. Good. During this lesson, that's when he's actually going to fall for her. <laughs> and to earn back the favour of the one person who truly made me feel... She's in love. What do you say? You want me to shake your hand? It is perhaps unusual, but are we not friends? She's beautiful, <laughs> though. She's stunning. Mm. Yeah. It'll help Yeah, don't think too far. You practice together, and it's going to realise, ooh, what a catch. What a catch she is. <laughs> Dearest gentle reader, when the tide of change uh -oh. turns... Oh, she wrote... It's too late. Especially for the unprepared. Oh, look at them! They're it rich seems now. to this author, babe, they moved into the house. Is moving with the changing oh, tide. To look be at sure. Them. There's the boss tent. now. Load. Welcome okay, to your new home. Take it. It's yours now. Received okay. there. So they work. <laughs> the sons of Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> the sons of the boss. <laughs> 
that story with you. Get out of my house. <laughs> we'll talk about this story later. More so than our queen, <laughs> who has still yet to choose a diamond. Her hesitancy is a symptom of fortitude or fear. Oh. I love the head wrap. Pride yeah. in past achievements. I love it. I don't, I don't care. Because our debutants <laughs> are ready to play this season. Your serve, your majesty. Oh. What an ending. Seems Lady Whistledown is playing games again. <laughs> Does she know who she is? She doesn't know who she is. The only person that knows is Eloise. I do love a game, especially when I am so often the victor. <laughs> For two shares? I feel you, girl. I feel you. <laughs> <Touché. laughs> Whistledown has come early. I am reading it. Are you mad? In today's issue, Penelope, Ooh. Lady Whistledown has a good deal to say about your precious Bridgertons. Oh. Whatever she has said about him, she is wrong. Author is ready to play as well. I do not fear change. I Ooh. embrace it. Ooh, yeah. There uh -oh. are some Yo, why are you who reading take the embrace of change a step right too here. far. Uh oh, Colin, do not read it. Where were you? Nowhere. What are you reading? Nothing. Are they really <laughs> close, them two? The, si the siblings. I know the siblings, but are they yeah. close? Yeah, they are. All the siblings are close. They're tight. They're a tight knit. And then there are some who take okay. the embrace of change a step too far. Mr. Colin Bridgerton oh. embraced a new personality entirely. Entirely. Must wonder, is this new character the real him or simply a ploy for attention? Oh. Mr. Bridgerton even no. <clears throat> <laughs> I do not care what Lady Whistledown might say. You're right. Me. But ruining Miss Thompson, I mean... Lady Crane, and then nearly ruining you last season. No, I don't. Any see idea it. who she might be? I do not. If I ever find out, I will make sure it is her life that is ruined. Oh dear. Oh dear. You said you don't care about <laughs> what she wants about you. I think she. I think he cares, babe. <laughs> <laughs> what did you for? <laughs> oh no. Is that it? <laughs> what you mean, that it, baby? We saw him for now or something, baby. I love that, actually. I don't know why. Okay, we know why I, I, feel, I did not finish yeah. season one. Yeah. But it's it's kind of different what I watch. Mm, I right know. now, I need a different. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I, I, I watch the same thing over and over again. I know you do. But you this literally is do. You watch the same series. Like, you watched it in 2005. You watch it again. Like okay, but I, I would admit it. You don't need to shoot me like that. That you should be one one down like. Kudum, kudum, kudum. All right, go on. Yeah, the, also the story about that boy who owned the big house. I know. <laughs> yeah. So you guys, there's a story about Nina. <laughs> there's a story about Nina. Yeah, Nina, Nina had this about come when you know you want to tell it. I mean, you tell it since you know it so well. So back home when Nina was when they were little, mm -hmm. the house, big house Nina they used to live with their parents. The house was under Nina's name. One day Nina was so angry telling people, everyone get out of the house was <laughs> under my name. She forgot one little thing. You don't know, no, no, just one. You don't know how to cook. You don't know how to look after yourself. You can't drive. Yeah. I think I was like seven or eight. Yeah, I was so upset. I don't know what, who did what to me. I was everybody get out of my house. Get out of my house! <laughs> no, the funny thing is, how did, how did I know the house was under my name? That's true. Though. I don't know who told Probably me. Your dad. Probably my dad told Probably me. Probably your dad. Because yeah. you always used to dine with your dad yeah. every day. And I was Probably like, Live, get out of my house. And I was like, who? wait, if everyone leaves, who's going to cook for me? Who's going to take care of me? Yeah, and I was like, okay, I changed my mind. <laughs> you can stay. <laughs> Guys, let us know if you enjoyed Joy with us. I know some of you already seen it, but obviously you're reacting, you're watching with us. So let, let, let us know if you're enjoying it. Yeah. And also, after this finish, see just another show we can do for you guys. We're also thinking of bringing some Korean shows yes. onto the channel. Yeah. Um, please suggest anything that's running now that's, you know, hot. On top of the charts. Nina might have some ideas, I, of yes. course. I think we might need to run a poll. A poll, right. We might need to run a poll. But yeah. also, do, let, let us know about your... Your suggestions. Yeah. yeah. And what you would like to see us react to, basically. Yeah, also, as you know, we have a child, so she can come in and out. As, so apologies for us. For those people who do not like this kind of stuff, for those who have kids, you know what it is. In the meantime, yeah. guys, have a good day, and we'll see you later. next time. Peace.
I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it every time you get that with her? 